Question 23. What's the nth term of the quadratic sequence? Any sequence that's described as quadratic is generally going to have, instead of just n, it's going to have n, some sort of n squared. So remember, nth term means a rule between the position of the number in the sequence and the actual number. So we're trying to find a rule that links position number one to the number two, position two to five, position three to 10, position four to 17, position five to 26. And we already know that it's got something to do with n squared. So if these are the n numbers, the position numbers, let's just figure out what n squared would be because we know it's got to be something to do with n squared because we got told it was quadratic. So one squared is one, two squared is four, three squared is nine, four squared is 16, five squared is 25. And so now we should be thinking, well, what do we do to these numbers to get the actual numbers in the sequence? To get from one to two is just plus one. To get from four to five is plus one. To get from nine to 10 is plus one. To get from 16 to 17 is plus one. To get from 25 to 26 is plus one. So we've basically stumbled across the rule. So all you've got to do to get from the n position numbers is square it and then plus one. Square the position number and plus one. Therefore, the nth term is n squared plus one. This would allow you, of course, to find out any term in the sequence. So let's say you wanted to find out the 20th term in the sequence. You would basically do 20 squared plus 1. 20 squared would be 400, and 400 plus 1 would be 401.